All right, what's going on guys? So stop two on this Southeast Asia little trip is going to be Indonesia. We are on the island of Bali. It is actually my second full day here. Yesterday was a complete mess. Whenever I travel, my biggest concern is usually trying to find bait. And I walked probably about 10 miles yesterday all over my side of the island that I'm staying on trying to find some shrimp or really anything I could have used for bait. It would have been fine with squid or anything else. And I could not find any. Tried every single market, supermarkets. I even went into restaurants, seeing if I could buy some uh, uncooked shrimp from them. And I could not get anyone to sell me any. So yesterday was mostly a waste. I ended up fishing this spot here uh, later on in the day with some uh, fish bites and gulp sandworms. And not a lot was going on, but I did manage one fish on the gulp sandworm, which was a cigar ass. Let me show you a picture of that guy real quick. And that was the only fish I caught yesterday. So today I took a grab, which is like the Asian Uber to the other side of the island. And I went to a little fish market and we got half a kilo of shrimp, which is probably too much, but that's the lowest that they would sell me. So we got half a kilo, which is a little bit more than a pound of shrimp. Uh, so we're gonna be fishing that now. Uh, this is the spot we're gonna be fishing in right now. The tide is incoming. There's not a lot of water here right now, uh, but hopefully as the tide comes in, some fish will move in with it and it is really hot out here today and sticky anyway this has been a long enough intro enough of me rambling let's throw some shrimp on out there and let's see what we can catch here today Alrighty, so we've got a very rocky coastline here and down below we got a lot of rocks and as well as it looks like some coral rubble at least that's what it appears like to me so we got a little bit of shrimp here I'm gonna flick this on out there as the water comes in I'll probably drop it a little bit closer to shore but let's see if we can get something on the shrimp out there that did not take long at all that's a that's a big fish this is a big fish oh man let's see if we can land this guy I got a small hook on this and if he gets me under a rock or something oh he's off he broke me off that oh that did not take long at all did he my sinker's still here what happened that was literally on the first drop the hook just bent out a little bit. <laughs> that was a big fish. Got him. First fish of the day, finally. All right, so some sort of a ras. It took forever to catch this guy. I've been fishing for about 20 minutes now, maybe 30. I've been getting a lot of bites, but not hooking up with much. My bad news though is I'm not counting this for the life list, even though I think it's new, because this guy is hooked outside of the mouth. Hopefully you can see that. It is not hooked in the mouth, not even hooked in the lip, but hooked above the lip. So whatever this thing is, I think it's a new species, but not counting for the life list. That's unfortunate. Got him. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. This took such a long time, but we got our first fish hooked in the mouth. All right, so we have been out here for probably an hour and a half, and this is the first fish that I really truly caught by, I guess, at least my standards. Hook is in the lip, in the mouth, which totally counts for me some sort of a trigger and this guy is beat up well I mean the trigger is not even sharp anymore it's fins especially its tail is all beat up I wonder if that's just from living among these rocks and this kind of heavy surf but whatever this ends up being as always pending ID it's gonna be a new addition to the life list 
I had so many short strikes today and just bites that I couldn't hook up with, so to finally get one is great. Now, let's get him back and let's try to catch another. Got him. This is another bigger one. What do we got? So I've been getting a lot of bites, just not catching a lot of fish. Only our second uh, hooked in the mouth fish in about two and a half hours. This is gonna be a new species for the life list. It's some sort of a goat fish. Now this guy fought really, really hard. Thought he was gonna be a lot bigger. But if we look under the mouth here, they got these two little thingies, which is why they're called goatfish. So, first ever species of goatfish. Thought I might have caught some sort of goatfish when I was in uh, Thailand last week. I did not, though. So, this is going to be our first species of goatfish, whatever it ends up being. And there, there's so many fish out there, I'm getting a lot of bites. Just very difficult for me to hook up with them for some reason. Got him. What is this? All right, so hopefully we can start picking up a couple more of these guys. Got this one maybe two, three minutes after that little goat fish. So three fish now in about two and a half hours. This is some sort of a damsel fish. It kind of looks like a sergeant species based on those bars. Um, I'm not sure exactly what it is though, but I'm pretty sure, or actually I'm definitely sure. Never caught this species before, so pending ID. This will also be a new species for the life list. But damselfish are usually pretty difficult to identify, so hopefully we can do that. Got him. Yes, let's go. Another new species. Let's take a look at this guy. Alrighty, so good news is we got a new species. This is some sort of a stonefish, uh, which are venomous. And now onto the bad news. He actually spined me over on my pinky, which is now starting to hurt. So don't know how long it's going to hurt. He didn't get me too bad. I don't even think the skin was broken. But he definitely got me and it's definitely hurting. But We'll try to get an ID on this guy. Stonefish are also very difficult to identify, but we will certainly try and hopefully uh, the pain my pinky is going to be going through here in the next couple minutes makes it worth it if we could add a new species to the life list. Got him. What do we got? Oh, looks like a, another trigger. What if it's the same one that we caught earlier or not? But let's take a look. All right, so it's our second trigger of the day. Another absolutely gorgeous fish. Not sure if it's the same species. This one looks to be in better shape. That tail looks full and whatnot. The fins look good. But just another absolutely gorgeous fish here from Bali. So the action is slow, but we're picking away at a couple here and there. And this is a really, really gorgeous fish. Alright guys, let me give you the almost four and a half hour update here. I started fishing at 10.30 this morning. It is now almost 3 o'clock in the afternoon. We have not caught a lot of fish. 
Now I've had an okay amount of bites, some that I didn't even feel, and then some really, really small taps. So since we have not caught a lot of fish, I'm gonna risk it. I tied on a little Tanago hook with just a little split shot. Now I'm sure I'm gonna probably get broken off somewhat quickly here, but that is a risk that I am willing to take. Uh, hopefully, whatever these like small fish were that have just been biting and not getting hooked all day, will now get hooked. Now, like I said, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get broken off somewhat quickly here. But I have not caught a lot of fish in these four hours. So, this is a risk I am willing to take. Now, let's see if it pays off. Got him. Let's take a look at this guy. All right, so this is really unfortunate. I found a, I found a little tide pool because I gave up and trying to catch these bigger fish, and I foul hooked a blandy of some type. So let me get the hook out of this guy's belly. This is two fish that I foul hooked today, both of which would have been new species, but they did seem receptive to the bait. So let me uh, get this guy back and then we will try to get one of these guys hooked inside the mouth. Got him. Yes, let's hope this guy's hooked in the mouth. Alrighty, so I was getting absolutely nothing by casting this little Tanago out further. So my theory there that we could have caught something kind of went out the window. But then I saw this tide pool because uh, it is now exposed again because the tide is going out with a bunch of little micros. Wasn't sure if they were gobies or blandies. I thought they were probably going to be a mix of both. We foul hooked one and now we got one in the mouth. So hopefully I could ID it, and this could also be a new species for the life list. I was going to do some micro fishing here at some point this week, but anyway, we got this little blandy for it uh, to show for our efforts. So hopefully I could ID it, and the action's slow and fishing's tough, but we got another fish. And we got him. Alright, so we got our second true Blandy out of that tide pool. He is hooked in the mouth, just like that second one. Uh, that first one, unfortunately, was not, but I think they're all the same species. We'll try to ID these guys later on. Um, I don't know still a cool looking fish and at least we got a couple of these guys to kind of make up for the slow action that we've had out there in the open all day. Alright guys so that's gonna do it. Uh, started fishing at about a little after 10 30 and it is now a little bit after four o'clock, so we, we spent the whole day here. I had planned on fishing here for a little bit to moving to a different spot, um, but the action wasn't awful. I just wasn't hooking up with a lot of them. I went through several pieces of shrimp. It wasn't like nonstop hits. It wasn't like cast out, get a hit instantly, but it was enough where I was still interested in staying here. It was just tough picking at the actual fish. I don't know what we got, four or five different species or so. Uh, the triggers were cool, the gillfish was cool, that scorpion fish that stung me, it only hurt for about 15 minutes. Someone took like a bee sting or a wasp thing, so it wasn't all that bad. Um, but first fishing session on Bali, not as good as I would have hoped for, but we still picked away a couple species, some really good looking ones, so I can't be all that upset. So we're still here, we're going to be here for a few more days. I don't know if I'm going to come back to this spot, but we'll probably try to fish somewhere else on the island over the next couple days. 
Would have been cool to catch that fish that I lost way in the beginning. Throughout the day I saw two or three, I don't know if they were the same two or three, but a little school of about two or three. I think there were some sort of jacks or somewhat. They were fairly big and silvery. So I don't know if that's what broke me off or not, but what a way to start the day. Would have been cool to catch that. Anyway, I uh, hope you guys still like this one, even though we didn't get a whole bunch of fish. We still got some really good looking ones, and I will see you next time.